This is Techzilla. I'm back and I've got another video for you guys. This time I'm going to be unboxing the HTC U11 Plus. That Plus makes all the difference, trust me. Um, this is the phone I've been waiting for from HTC for quite some while. They make great phones, they just don't sell. Not in the numbers they deserve to. They are a pretty good, solid manufacturer of devices. And, you know, sometimes it's just like that. Anyway, I picked this up from Wanda Mobile. I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested in picking this up. Those of you in the States, Wanda Mobile will ship to you. So check out that link I leave you because this is not being released in the States. And I know a lot of you guys over there, a lot of you who watch my channel are interested in buying this. I don't earn any commission. Uh, it's not an affiliate link. It's a direct link to that their website. So you can purchase this. Um, it costs £609, I think, is what I paid. So even those of you who are in Europe and the UK, it's significantly cheaper than the price you'll pay for the UK or the European variant, which I believe is going to be around 700 euros or 600, uh, 700 pounds sterling. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, I'll just show you the, this sticker. I do not know what it says, but it's traditional what they have on the imported boxes. So I'm just going to show you guys this. You can pause it. And read it for yourself. This is all the bands. It is a dual SIM version. I think they're all dual SIM. But there are the bands. So you can work it out for yourself if it will work on your network. Do not ask me if it will work on AT&T, T-Mobile or Movie, Movi, Dell, uh, Telecommunications. I don't know. I'm not an expert in every network out there. So I've left that on screen for you. You can pause it. You can see what bands it has for the LTE, for GSM, and etc. and Edge, so you'll know if it'll work. So let's have a look at the back of the box. This is classic HTC of recent years. So it's got a Snapdragon 835, 6-inch Quad HD+, Plus, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 screen with a DCI P3 wide color, uh, color gamut, a micro SD slot, up to two terabytes, six gigabytes of RAM, 12 megapixel F1.7 HTC Ultra Pixel 3 Ultra Speed Autofocus OIS camera on the back. On the front, it's got an eight megapixel selfie panorama camera. It's obviously got the edge sense, IP68 water resistance, HTC USonic with active noise cancellation, uh, 3D audio recording, acoustic focus, that's a great feature if you haven't used it, it's a great feature. HTC boom sound, high res audio, fingerprint sensor. Now this is what I like, have a look at that, 3930 milliamp hour battery, unbelievable. My U11 gives me 7 to 7.5 hours of screen on time with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Lord only knows what this will give. It's also got Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, uh, Wi-Fi, obviously NFC, licensed by Qualcomm. So there you have it. Now, I got it in the black. <clears throat> there isn't any other variants available at the moment that I've seen. So let's get this out of the packaging. I just wanted to let you guys know that stuff. I know some of you don't like it before I, if I talk a lot. But it is a video and it would be a bit boring if I didn't. So here we go. Let's open this up. And look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That is a stunning device. I've seen it <clears throat> in pictures and in videos. There's the rear fingerprint sensor, the camera and everything. I'll put that to the side for a minute and we'll come back to it. Let's see what else is in the packaging. Let's take this out. Some stickers. The IMEI numbers and stuff. 
give you a hard case hard shell which I might keep out and actually put on the phone itself why not I haven't got a case for it so let's leave that out I like the way they do this sim ejection tool with the HTC cut into it looks pretty pretty nice and it's the shape of a micro SD card as well microfiber cloth oh this is quite good look at this see I think this is the Hong Kong version because look at the English that is a nice change when you get an imported device so we don't really here's how to attach the case to your phone so you put it in the bottom first water and dust resistant oh it's IP68 I forgot about that that's class but anyway we won't go into that in too much detail um, limited warranty yeah HTC Hong Kong so this is the Hong Kong variant which is lovely I'm impressed by that I like it that actually surprised me that's the USB-C to headphone jack adapter now these are noise cancelling um, USB type C acoustic earphones probably the best in-ear buds you get with any mobile phone I would say these they sound great because the DAX in there silicone ear tips pull this out if I can it's wedged in there pretty tight USB-C charging cable don't need to worry about that and a UK power brick that's always a nice touch that lovely it's a quick charge 3.0 as well so all of you in the UK you're laughing if you want to get this pick this version up because it will have everything you want and everything you need There we go, finally, finally, got the damn thing out. So let's a quick look around it, look at that. That is some reflection and a half. That's almost like a, look at how clear that reflects, a mirror. This is like metallic black or something. Beautiful, look at. So you've got the HTC logo there. A little bit of writing down the bottom here, it's not much. Fingerprint sensor, camera, slightly raised, not much. LED flash here. There's a microphone up here. Another microphone here. SD card slot. Volume rockers. Power button with that ridged pattern. The bottom, you've got speaker, USB-C charging port and the mic. On this side, you've got nothing, just some antenna bands. And we've already covered the top. So let me put this little thing on. I say little, it's big. This is what you call a big boy phone. Right, guys, I've got the case on. Oh, it's talking to me. i got the case on. It's got a funny kind of look to it. After this video, I'll give it a clean. Maybe that's what it needs. But the case, the the sides are exposed. That's for the squeeze functionality and the bottom's open. So let's set this up real quick. So obviously it's in a Chinese or something. I don't know. Forgive me if it's not Chinese. I don't know. Let's click on that. Set up the language. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me what language does this support. Let me just fast forward this part if you don't want to know but let me scroll through it slowly so you can see for yourselves this is just for anyone who's looking to buy this phone i know it's if you're not interested if you speak english or you've already seen your language just bear with me because i'll get a lot of people asking me what languages does this phone support 
So I'm just going through it nice and slowly. So if you see your language in there, you know it's supported by this device. Let me speed it up a little bit. As I said, if you don't want to see this part, just fast forward it. No need to leave iffy comments down below because not everyone speaks English as their first language. And you've got to realize that people will have questions about this device. So if you can see your language in there, good for you. If you can't, well, that's a pity. So we'll go all the way nearly at the bottom now, guys. There we have it. That's all the languages. So obviously I'll just pick English and I'll pick United Kingdom because obviously that's where I'm based. And let's go. Let's start setting this sucker up. And where is my Wi-Fi? Is it even switched on? Now oh, there we go, that's my Wi-Fi. That's connected. Go to next, agree. Right guys, I went past all the boring stuff, putting in my emails and whatever, email details, my Google details. So I have the Edge Sense setup now screen. So squeeze three times to set up, hold, blah, 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 blah. Please hold the Edge Sense area and squeeze your device quickly. Okay, let's do my right hand. Okay, go to next. Try squeezing to fill up a balloon and release to launch it. Tap, tap next to continue. Okay. Okay, that's done. Uh, the default action is launch camera app to take photos, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go past that. Set up fingerprint. Let's go with fingerprint and pattern. Okay, let's do a secure. So let me just, I don't know. Let's do that. Continue. Confirm. And let's start with the fingerprint sensor. So it's right there. So let's see how fast this is. Three, two, one. Wow, that was quick. Add another fingerprint, let's do the left hand. Whoa, that was pretty quick. Quite impressive, that. So it's just finishing setup. This is my Iron Man wallpaper. Anyway, I cut, it was a bit jaggedy there. If the editing's a bit funny, it's because I had my personal information come up, so I've gone past it. Um, new feature on navigation bar. So you're going to advanced one and a basic one. Let's go with the advanced. Apply it. So we've got these different things down here. So you your back button, home button, recent apps button. Not sure what that does. That obviously offs the screen. If you slide across, you've got more stuff here. What does that do? Oh, that brings that down. That's nice. That is pretty nice. And what does this do? Oh, that's a screenshot. And... Screen capture tool. Oh, it's got screen recording as well. Look at that. So now let's just test out the squeeze feature on this, see what happens. Right, it launches a camera, okay. Squeeze to take photos and videos. Fair enough. So come out of that. We're not gonna look at that now. Let's go into settings 
and HTC Sense Companion. I mean, I'll set all this up later when I do my 24 hours impressions video. Uh, where's that? Edge Sense. Let's have a look in there. So, where is. Edge Launcher. That's what I'm looking for. Does that do anything? What does that bring up? Oh yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I'm looking for right there. Let's have another quick look at that. That is sweet. Oh whoa, that is seriously that is smooth, crazy smooth, I'm telling you. That is a feature and a half. You got the full calendar at the top. That's oh, that's a that's a good feature straight there. I'm not going to go right across to everything because you'll see all my personal details. But there you have it, guys. That's just a quick look, first impressions of the HTC U11 Plus. Video has gone on far too long, but hey, at least I showed you something. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. It's a little bit of a ropey video by my standards, but what am I going to do? I rushed it because I ain't got a lot of time. And it was raw. A lot of you like my raw stuff. This text is saying take care. I'll see you all again. And peace.